There's some of you that are gonna take action, some of you that are wanna take action, and some of you are, are scared of taking action. It doesn't matter. I'm talking to you right now, not everybody else that's listening to this. I'm talking to you. Make that decision. You're supposed to be at a higher level. I am Jason Drees with the Do the Impossible podcast. Go to mondaymindsetreset.com to sign up to join me every Monday for a 20-minute mindset alignment call. Let me set your week up for success. So what does it take to create growth in 2023? What does it create to create success at a higher level or go bigger? Because we, it's, it's that time of the year, right? It's a new year. So it's a time to go bigger. And how many of you listening right now are actually going to change next year or repeat the same? What I've found from my over my decade in coaching is, is that the people listening to, to this session right now, this episode, of everyone listening, I'm going to say less than 5% are going to create radical positive change in their life next year. Yes, less than 5%. Think about it. How many times have you wanted to make a change, but you end up in the same place year after year, month after month, over and over again? Because what it actually takes to create change in your life is actually much different than you think it is. Because what we think about is we get to the end of the year and we have these New Year celebrations and we get motivated to set new, new resolutions and New Year goals. But most people are back to their normal pattern by the middle of January. So what it really takes is moving into a different mode of operation. Because your pattern is in place. There is momentum. And you are a human being with, with, with hopes and dreams and fears. And what you really have is a comfort zone that's wired to avoid pain and discomfort. So staying the same is the norm. And that's why most people do the same thing year after year. And they have the same relationship year after year. And the same body year after year. And the same income level year after year. What it takes to change that is, is, is a decision in a new direction. It takes willingness to go through the process of change. And what I've actually found in most people and in myself is, is creating that change is less about making the change happen because that's what we focus on. How do I make the change? I got to change the new habits. I got to change this new stuff. But what it really comes down to, to making the change happen easier, is not making the change happen. It's, ha it's removing your resistance to that change occurring. Now, that may sound interesting. It may sound strange or it may sound crazy, but it's actually true. What usually happens is people are blocking themselves from change over and over again by literally saying, I have to make this change. Because if you're saying, I have to make this change, that is a point of view and a validation that the change is not occurring. When you start to make the change, you can make a shift in direction right now, today, in this moment. And just because you start pointing in a new direction doesn't mean you're not in the same spot that you were in. Because you could have been pointed to the right, and you're looking at the right direction, and you're looking straight ahead, and you're like, oh my God, I don't like the way the right is looking. I don't like this path. And you look down, the place I'm at right now is not where I want to be. Going to the right is not where I want to be. So I'm going to shift directions before. So I'm basically going to pivot 90 degrees. So instead of going right, I'm going to go left. Now you're looking left, and you can't, you're faced in a new direction, which is going to lead you to new actions and new points of view. But if you're looking down at your feet at the starting point, you're in the exact same spot you were a moment ago. What happens with human nature is we end up focused on the spot that we're at instead of the spot that we're going, instead of the direction we're going. So while you were aimed to the right and you knew the right wasn't working and you knew that you needed to change direction, you could shift direction to the left and you will start moving in that direction. But if you're staring at your feet thinking the change hasn't occurred, you're gonna think that direction isn't working and you need to change again. And we end up validating the wrong direction or the lack of movement over and over and over again and thinking it's not progress and giving up. 
The fact is, the second you start pointing in a new direction and you start focusing on where you want to go and start talking about where you want to go and looking where you want to go, where you are in this moment is irrelevant. Irrelevant. And that's why I keep saying over and over again, is the way to create success isn't to make success occur. It's to be in a place where you're not in resistance to the success occurring. Because whatever you are will be. And what happens is we end up telling ourselves, I'm not there, I'm not there, I'm not there, I'm gonna, because you can make New Year's resolution to change your body. And I'm gonna change my body and I'm gonna lose 20 pounds and I'm gonna get more energy or I'm gonna get off these medications or I'm gonna lower my blood pressure or I'm gonna regrow my hair or whatever it wants. <laughs> you can make that decision right now and you can start working out. And if you start working out, are you gonna see results today? No, you're not gonna see results today. You gotta to keep working to see the results. You can be on the right path and the right track for a week, a month before you actually see the results. What matters is you keep going in that direction. So are you switching directions too soon? And are you giving up because you're not seeing results? One of the most powerful gifts and curses I've been born with is this desire and almost fixation and obsession on what it could look like. I have got an ability to hold the vision that's better of what I, than what it is and to continue to move forward not, no matter what. And the interesting thing I'm discovering right now is creating success and financial success and growth in my life is actually really easy. The hard part for me is creating happiness right now because I love that gap, that chase to that next level. That's me. But what about you? Which way do you operate? You can be enjoying your life right now. That's fantastic. But if you're not getting where you want to be, it's because you're not consistently taking the action that needs to happen to move you in that direction. So what you need to do is consistently move in the direction and be in a mindset and a frame where that result will occur. Because as you start taking action, you can be asking yourself, am I taking the right action? Is it gonna work? The way to always take the right action is to be in a frame, in a mindset, where the right action will always occur. Because success is not something you create, it's something that you are. Are you able to move yourself into a place of alignment with growth happening with ease? Are you able to put yourself into a frame, into a frequency, into a mindset where success happens automatically? Or are you still operating in a mindset of, I don't have what I want and I don't know how to get it? Because we often can get caught up in, well, I wanna make more money or I wanna change my body or I wanna be in better shape or change my relationship, but I don't know how. That is the old way of thinking because you can think that strategy is the answer and the mind is conditioned to think that strategy is the answer, but strategy isn't the answer. The lack of strategy is not preventing you from getting what you want. Your feeling of defeat from the lack of strategy is. So what do you do? The thing, the thing you need to understand, and this is our new mode of operation, because when you start to operate at a frame level, the level above mindset, life will start to unfold more magically, more easily. I've done it myself. I've done it over and over again with myself, my clients, and other people. And basically, it's aligning yourself with the target, even though you don't know how to do it. Think about it. Like, isn't there a time when there was something you wanted in your life and you had no idea how to do it and you went out and did it anyway? I guarantee you've had times like that in your life. Now, do you live your life that way? Do you pick new things and go aim it, figure it out, or do you get defeated and shut down and get stuck? Are you in a job that you love? Do you work for yourself? Are you in a job that you hate? Are you living in freedom? Or are you living in prison? You can change all of that. Now is the time. And it's great to align it with the new calendar year. But if you're listening to this episode and it's not the beginning of the year, it doesn't matter. You can always cha make change right now because change starts with number one, making a decision. The decision is I am gonna make this change 
Number two, I am going to follow that process however it looks like. Number three, I am willing to go through the process however challenging it is to hit the result. If you do those three things, you will have success. Because what happens for most people is when it gets difficult, we shut down. We, it gets difficult or challenging, we shut down and give up. What we don't realize is those obstacles in your way that are challenging, that your brain is saying, oh my God, this lack of, if I knew what to do, I would do it. And I can't have success because I don't know what to do. The thing is, you have to figure that out. Figuring out that problem, whatever that problem is in front of you, Figuring out that problem is what turns you into the person that has the result. Like there's even books written on that. The obstacle is the way. That process is the way. Are you leaned into it? Don't miss up this opportunity right now. Whenever you're listening to this, take advantage of this moment of what I'm telling you. Create the change in your life now. Go do it. What else are you going to do? There's some of you that are going to take action, some of you that are want to take action, and some of you are, are scared of taking action. It doesn't matter. I'm talking to you right now. Not everybody else that's listening to this. I'm talking to you. Make that decision. You're supposed to be at a higher level. You're supposed to be at a higher level of success. You're supposed to have more financial abundance in your life. You're supposed to have more happiness in your life. You're supposed to have more vitality and health and energy. Go create it. Yes, it's hard. Accept that it's going to be hard and go do it anyway. There are people counting on you. There are people watching you. Are you going to be the example of what not to do? Or is it time for you to step up and be the role model that you were meant to be? Being a role model has other growth things, has other challenges. Being visible is not an easy thing either. Once you realize that there's always going to be growth and discomfort no matter what you're doing in life, you can have de deal with the struggle of success and being famous and all the stuff that comes with that, or you can deal with the struggle of being average and broke. There's always contrast. But maybe it's time you took ownership of the type of contrast you're experiencing and the contrast you're dealing with and growing through is the type of contrast that transforms your life and everyone in it because you fucking wanted to make it amazing. Like, why hold back? Go for it. You are made for more than this. You can do this. If I can do it, you can do it too. I hope this was helpful. If you're ready to take that action, go to freeintrosession.com freeintrosession.com. My team will walk you through a process of discovering an impossible target. Because if you want to start playing your life at a higher level, you need to start aiming at better targets. And most people aim at average targets and end up with shitty average results they don't want. Go to freeintrosession.com, book in a free intro call. My team will walk you through my three-step process and help you discover an intuitive, internally guided, impossible target that will light you up. When you start playing at that level, your life will change. I'm Jason Drees. This is the Do the Impossible podcast. Join me on the next episode as we dive into the evolution of greatness, cracking the code for greatness. Have an amazing day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.